Viewports are a powerful tool in Vectorworks. They make it easy to create and organize your drawing sets. In this video, we are going to discuss a few ways to speed up viewport creation and increase the quality of your renders. We will start with viewport creation. It is not necessary to always return to the design layer to create a new viewport. A single viewport can be quickly duplicated to create multiple elevation or perspective views. Simply hold down the Option key on a Mac or the Control key on Windows and click and drag the viewport to duplicate it. As you can see, we now have a copy of the viewport. You can now modify this viewport independently of the original. You can quickly switch to an isometric view, change the rendering mode, and turn on or off classes and layers. This new viewport has some dimensions and 2D details that need to be turned off. This can be achieved by either turning off the classes or layers these objects are on, or simply toggling off display planar objects and project screen objects. These options will turn off any 2D planar or screen plane objects. Next we will discuss crop viewports. In previous versions of Vectorworks, if you created a crop viewport, the crop object was visible by default. In order to turn it off, you needed to edit the crop of the viewport and set the line weight of the object to none. Now, in Vectorworks 2012, the crop object is turned off by default and can easily be toggled on or off through the object info palette. Now let's look at rendering options. You have the ability to set various render modes for viewports. If you are using one of our Renderworks render modes, you may find that your viewports are not always as sharp and clear as you would like. This is because the default DPI setting for the sheet layer is set to 72 DPI. If you go to the Tools menu, select Organization, switch to the Sheet Layers tab, and edit your sheet layer, you can increase the DPI setting. A DPI of 300 is usually enough. Note that increasing your DPI will increase render times. Finally, there are two render settings for viewports. You can adjust background and foreground render modes. The background render setting is the main render mode for the viewport. In this example, it is set to Final Quality Render Works. You can then set the foreground render to wireframe, sketch, hidden line, or dash hidden line to create various effects. You can see how adding a foreground hidden line render completely changes the look of a standard Final Quality background render. 